Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Yeah, no, the, the only only important part, like Locke, like I said, the only important part of level two is, let's just say, for example, there's a big pivot coming up, right? Let's just say there's a, I'll give you a real-time example, right? Let's, I'll give you a real-time example. Like you see for next week at 266 level, right? You see that 266 level? Let's pretend, let's pretend there's uh, 25,000 on the bid, right? And all bunch of, all bunch of sellers come in and they hit that 25,000, right? And then the guy doesn't move, right? The guy doesn't move. He, he, he comes back for another 20,000. And then he comes back for another 5,000, right? That's the only part of the level, level two that, 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 that's telling you there's a real old buyer in the crowd because you see it with your own eyes. But other than that, you know, other than that, you, you don't care. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Like, like even yesterday, remember there was a buyer at 268 all day? You guys remember in the afternoon there was a buyer at 268 like literally the whole day? You're using level two just to see if there's a sneaky buyer there or a sneaky seller that's not going down because of the price action is dictating it's supposed to go down. That's what you're using for. But if you're randomly just looking at stocks for to, for direction based on level two, it, it, it's a useless it, it's a useless scenario, right? The only time level two is important is once you hit, once the daily chart gets confirmed, but that but that. That, that buyer, if you're trading on the short side, does not want to move. You know there's a real old buyer in the crowd, right? You know there's a real old buyer in the crowd. And the, the one thing in this business, I don't care how, how you trade, you cannot fight a real old buyer or a real old seller. So, for example, let's pretend, like, lock. let's, yeah, the market's going to go down. It doesn't, it doesn't make a difference today. It's, the market's going to go lower next week. It, like, like lock. I'll give you an example. Let's pretend it was a big pivot this morning on NVIDIA at 42, right? And there was 100,000 100, offer. And, and the, the, the market took that 100,000 offer and the guy comes back at 142 again. You know there's a real low seller in the crowd. So if, for example, if I love a trade, I go, wow, this thing looks really good. But David Einhorn decides to sell a million shares of the stock at that price. We have no shot. You know what I'm saying? Like we have no shot. So that's the only time I, I, I use level two is when I'm looking, when I'm when I'm entering a trade and go, oh guys, because how many times have you guys heard me? Hey guys, there's a reload seller here. There's a reload buyer here. Be careful, there's a reload buyer. If he doesn't leave the next minute, let's get the hell out of Dodge, right? That's again, another kind of, a, <laughs> that's kind of another perk of, 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 of being in the webinar. You, you know, I'm, I'm you're seeing it play by play. I'm telling you literally, hey, there's a buyer in the crowd, right? If, if, it, doesn't, if it doesn't break in the next minute, minute, let's get the hell out of Dodge. So yeah, that's the only time that level two is, is important. Uh, if you can if you if you can identify a reload buyer, a reload seller, depending which way uh, you're looking at the trade.